Welcome friends. Today we are going to talk about the tracts, especially the posterior column, medial lemniscus pathway. So previously I have uploaded a video for the spinothalamic tract. So this is the second part of the same series you can say. So here we are going to identify the location of cell bodies, location of snap between first and second order neurons and level at which the fiber are going to cross the midline. So first of all, talk about locations, the posterior column, middle lemniscus pathway travels up to spinal cord within the posterior column, which contains the following structures. You can see here, this is the posterior column, lateral column, anterior column. And the posterior column has two parts, fasciculus cuneatus and fasciculus gracilis. Gracilis is more medial if you see the cross section and cuneatus will be lateral side. You can again see the video uploaded already for the spinal cord to get the more proper view of this particular cross section and location. So, as ascending sensory tract, the PCML pathway transmits the information about discriminative touch, pressure, vibration, and proprioceptor. Previously, we have seen it was basically for the touch and pressure. Here, you can see it is pain, sorry, pain and touch. Here, it is discriminative touch, pressure, vibration, and proprioceptor. Use these additional tracks to see the anatomical relation of PCML pathway with the other white matter tracks. So, how it is related, you can see here it is already uh, demarcated fasciculus gracilis and fasciculus cuneatus. Anterior corticospinal tracts are just opposite side. Lateral corticospinal tracts are just lateral to it. And spinothalamic, as we have previously seen, will be on the lower side or anterior side. So, this will be the relation of the things. But what you have to remember that PCML pathway transmit discriminative touch, pressure, vibration, and proprioception. Now, how to see the somatotrophic organization of same thing? The so fibers in PCML pathway shows somatotrophic arrangement as seen below. Fibers carrying information from lower part of body found are medially within the tract, fasciculus gracilis side, and while from the higher centers, they will be on the lateral within the tract, that is fasciculus. So you can see CTLH that is cervical, thoracic, lumbar and sacral region and they are arranged like this. The more upper part it will be the towards the lateral side within the tract and the lower side it will be the medial side. So you can see cervical is the most lateral and sacral will be the most medial side within the posterior column. The blood supply will be here from the posterior spinal arteries. We supply the posterior one third of the spinal cord, which includes the posterior. So previously we have seen it was anterior spinal arteries, which are giving supply to the spinal thermal tract. It is the posterior spinal artery, which will give supply to the PCML, posterior column, medial hemiscus pathway. So how does the pathway works? So one by one, we are going to see, starting from, you can see spinal cord, it will go to the thalamus only, but will will towards from the posterior column side. This will be the difference from previous slide of lecture that is spinothalmic. So first of all, you can see here spinal cord. Exons enter the spinal cord from the spinal ganglion and pass it directly to the ipsilateral posterior column. Here the rostral fibers that are about T6 enter the fasciculus cuneatus as we previously decided the somatotrophic arrangement to ascend. Caudal fiber that is below T6 enter the fasciculus gracilis medial to ascend. So now you can see the fiber. The fiber is moving like this, it will be passing to the HG lateral side. It is different between the previous one, which was passing towards the control lateral side. So, this is the how the things are going to pass from the spinal cord, the first stage. Next, they have to pass through the caudal medulla. The primary exon terminate in their specific nuclei located in the caudal medulla, the nucleus gracilis, which will have in the caudal fibers or nucleus cuneatus, rostral fibers. From these nuclei, exons of secondary neurons cross the midline as the internal arcuate fibers and then from the middle lemniscus. You can see this particular pathway, there will be two nucleuses, nucleuses gracilis and nucleus cutaneous for respectively gracilis and cutaneous portion of the posterior column and then they will move as the internal arcuate fibers ultimately following the middle lemniscus. Then we have to see the rostral part of medulla, how the fibers are going to pass there. So the fiber travels as middle meniscus adjacent to the midline. You can see this is the middle meniscus part which are passing through the adjacent to the midline. 
So spinal cord, then quadrant medulla, then rostral medulla. Now coming to the pons. So pons middle lemniscus is going to be flattened in the medial lateral orientation. So in the middle part, you can see it will be flattened so from spinal cord, then quadrant medulla, rostral medulla, ultimately it's the pons. Now coming to the midbrain. So in midbrain, the middle lemniscus continues to ascend. It will move upside through the rostral pons and medulla and moves laterally and extends in the anterior posterior. It is AP orientation in the midbrain region. You can see here, this is how they are going to move upside, ultimately reaching to the thalamus. So the middle lemniscus terminates in the ventral postural lateral nucleus of the nucleus BPL. From the thalamus, fibers project to and terminate in the primary somatosensory cortex. So this is how this second pathway is going to work, working from the spinous cord to the tract. So in cortex, from cortex it will uh, from thalamus the fiber will move towards the internal capsule and corona radio terminate in the primary somatosensory area. This is primary somatosensory area till which the fiber will act on it. So this was about the uh, second type of uh, pathway. So which is known as PCML pathway, that is posterior column middle lemniscus pathway which carries the fourth thing that is discriminatory touch, vibrations, pressure and proprioceptor. receptor. The sensory fiber in this tract are associated with the specific sensory endings that transduce mechanical stimuli. These fiber travel uncrossed. Remember these fiber cross uncrossed in primary column or posterior column of spinal cord, synapse in their respective nuclei in quadrant medulla, process to contralateral side and ascends through the brain stem as middle lemniscus and after terminating in the thalamus, information is passed to the primary symmetry.